What's up everybody, Ryan Suchit here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are gonna talk about using multiple languages on Google Ads. I know there seems to be a lot of confusion around uh, using different languages and how to set them up properly. So I'm gonna go through everything you need to know right now. Uh, let's dive in. So uh, when it comes to different languages, there's actually a lot of things to consider. Um, number one is the campaign language setting, which most of you know about, but then a lot of the confusion comes around uh, using keywords in the other language, add copy in the other language, add URLs, add assets. Should you create a new campaign or use the current one? Um, should you target new areas that speak the other language? So we're gonna go through all of these. So campaign language setting. So in the campaign settings, you can choose multiple languages. Um, a lot of you probably have seen this and know about this part, um, but a lot of people don't know how Google knows. So this is what I got from their help article. Uh, Google decides a user's language by different signals. These signals could be the query language, the user settings, and other language signals as derived by our machine learning algorithms. So basically this just means it's not a simple process that we can know. Um, Google just has their way of deciding what a user's language is and you know if they should show your ad to them or not, depending on your settings. Um, the one big thing to keep in mind with all of this is Google does not translate ads or keywords. So just because you change your setting or add in a new language does not mean your keywords and your ads are all of a sudden gonna be translated for you. We need to do that ourselves, okay? <laughs> they will not do this for you. So keywords, if you just change the campaign language setting and nothing else, if that user searches a keyword in a different language, your ad will not show. Okay, so you need to add in keywords in the other language uh, because again, Google does not translate these. Uh, same with ad copy. So if you've changed the language setting and you have keywords in the other language, your ad is eligible to show, but it would show in the original language. Um, so you need to have uh, ads that are also in the other language since Google doesn't translate these. Um, and in my opinion, whatever language the user searches in should be the language the ad shows in. So if they use a French keyword, um, it should show a French ad. Um, you know, so regardless of the user settings or what language Google thinks they speak, um, you know, if, if they type in a French keyword, it should show them a French ad. That's my opinion. So that's how I'm gonna show you how to set things up. So the best setups, uh, there's actually kind of two of them um, that I use. Uh, I normally use option one. Um, and for this example, I'm gonna use the, like us using an, having an English campaign and deciding to add in French. Okay, so option one is using the same campaign, just adding in new ad groups. <coughs> okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do some of these things. Um, but I'll just read through them first. So number one, if we're using the same campaign, um, just keep in mind, we're not gonna be able to separate things in terms of budget and that type of thing. Everything's gonna be in the same campaign. Uh, I think there's pros and cons. Uh, the main pro I like is that all the data is in one campaign. It usually makes things simpler. We give Google data faster, especially if you're using automated bids and, and you know just trying to get the most leads for your budget. You don't really care about whether they come from English or French. Um, then I think the same campaign is best but if you want to separate budgets and you do care you know like let's say you primarily want English leads but you're okay with a little bit of French you might want to separate things out put a small budget in there and then you can kind of manage things uh, in a different campaign and search terms and that type of thing uh, but for the most part I use the same campaign so if we're doing that the first thing you do is you'd add in French in the language setting so you'd have both now you'd have French and English and keep in mind with this language setting that just means we're showing to people that um, Google deems as both of those languages okay nothing to do with um, the keywords or anything like that so what you do is you duplicate your ad groups um, and you'd rename the new ones to the French translation that way you have a good separation um, you change the keywords in those French ad groups to the French translated versions of those keywords um, you change the ad copy in the French ad groups to the French translation um, you change the French ads to go to a French translated site if you have. Mo a lot of times I don't have this, um, but for those of you who are really trying to go after a separate language, you might have this. You might have a translate button on your website and then all of a sudden the URL changes and there's like maybe like slash French. I have no idea. I've, I've had a couple of these um, and then your ads can actually go to the French sites, uh, which is really nice, especially if they're typing in a French keyword, seeing a French ad, it'd be nice to have a French translated site, but a lot of you won't have that. 
<clears throat> um, and then you'll use ad group level assets with the French translation, because again, right now, your assets are all gonna be in English. Um, and assets, for those of you who don't know, are the, they previously were called extensions. It's just the little things that show up below your ad. <coughs> um, and then you could also add in French speaking areas if you weren't targeting those already. So up here in Canada, um, Quebec is our primary, you know, French speaking province. Um, so we, we could think about adding those in now that we have, you know, French stuff happening in the ads. So let me show you how to do some of this. So um, here's a Google Ads account. Um, so we're using the same campaign, right? So we would wanna just duplicate the ad groups. Uh, first, I guess I'll show you the language setting. So you'd go settings here. Again, we're in our campaign. And then this is just a, dump, a dummy campaign, so don't worry about any other settings. Um, but you go languages, and right now we wanna add in French. Okay, so this shows we're going after both. Then you'd go save. Um, then we'd want to duplicate our ad groups like we talked about. So you would just simply copy these. I'm going to copy them and then paste. Here we go. Make sure your campaign's selected here. Go done. Uh, pause new ad groups. You can. Um, I'm not going to. Mine are already um, here anyway. This campaign's paused. Um, just remember to obviously enable them if you do choose that setting. Okay. So we have our new copies here. They just put like a number two here. Um, so I mentioned you would just rename these new ones to the French translated ones. That way it's just easy to have them separated. And then you would go into these ad groups. And then I don't have any keywords in here, but you would change the keywords um, in here to the French translated. Because again, don't worry about it. These are copied and pasted ad groups. So it's not gonna affect your original one. Just make sure you're in the new ad group and then just remove the keywords and add new ones or just edit each of them to the French translated. Um, same goes with the ads. Um, again, make sure you're in the, in the right ad group. You would edit the ads um, and you would uh, edit the ad URL if you have. And then when it comes to the uh, assets, that one's a little bit more tricky. So now I'm uh, clicking in a campaign and then I'm going assets. So right now, some of these are gonna be at the account level, some at the campaign. Um, so if we wanted the French one, uh, French versions of these, what you can do is you can select it and go add to ad group and then choose your new ad group. So I'm just gonna choose one of the ones here and then it's gonna create it. Okay, so now we see it's at the ad group level. So now we can edit this, and we could change this callout text to a um, French translated one, right? And then just make sure you do this and you change to this asset instance only. So uh, that means it's going to only change the um, uh, callout text for this ad group, okay? And then you would just go save. Um, that way now you have a French um, asset in your ad group. Okay, um, I think that's everything we talked about. I'm just looking at my notes here to make sure I showed you everything. Uh, keywords, ad copy, URL, assets. Um, and then if you wanted to add in um, French speaking locations, uh, all of you would know this, but you just go locations, you would edit and you would add them in. Okay, so as simple as that. So that is how you would do the same campaign, uh, new ad groups. Um, now I'm gonna show you a separate campaign, again, using uh, English, adding French. Um, so the first thing you would do is you would copy and paste your campaign. Um, that means um, you're gonna be working in a brand new campaign. It's just a duplicate and then we're gonna change everything. Um, so now you would wanna add in French to the original campaign. Okay, this is where things might get a little confusing. Um, so not this new one, the old one. That way in our English speaking campaign, uh, we are gonna have French and English. And the reason for that is we still want to show to people who, let's say Google thinks they're French, but they typed in an English keyword. We want to show them the English version of the ad and that type of thing. So that's why we would add in French to our original campaign, right? Um, again, in case someone types an English keyword, best French settings. Um, so yeah, the first step, now we're gonna duplicate the original campaign, you know, copy and paste, just like I showed you the ad groups would be the campaign. Um, now the language setting should automatically have English and French in this new one because we added French before we duplicated, okay? Um, we're gonna rename the ad groups to French, change keywords to French, um, remove English, change ad copy to French, change ad URLs to French, um, 
translate the ad assets. So in this one, we don't have to apply to ad groups or anything like that because this is a brand new campaign, right? But you wanna make sure the ad assets are at the campaign level, um, which I believe they were in the example I showed to you, but you just wanna make sure they're only applied to this campaign. Um, and then add in French speaking areas. So it is similar to the other one, um, you know, use the same kind of process, but everything is just in a totally separate campaign. Um, and again, this way we can have a separate budget and you know, the data is just separated uh, perhaps in an easier way. Uh, but the downside is that our data is split into two different campaigns. Um, so we're kind of giving the machine a little bit less to work with. Uh, there are ways of kind of connecting the two, but um, there's sort of pros and cons to both of these. I usually use option one, um, but it's really up to you guys how you want to separate these. Usually it's going to come down to the budget um, and in terms of separating. Anyways, guys, I know we covered a lot there. Uh, I hope that makes sense. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you're subscribed and have notifications turned on to find your way back. See you in the next video.